If you're wondering how to use Selenium to upload a file, watch this video. Hi and welcome to Atomy Now. This is Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. To begin, we're going to take a look at the sandbox page at atomynow.io. And then we're going to click on this button that says File Upload. On this page, we can upload a file by clicking on this Choose File button to select the file and then clicking Upload. Notice that when I click this button to choose file, I'm going to get a screen that looks something like this. And this is going to allow me to choose a file anywhere on my system. It's important to keep in mind that Selenium is designed to automate websites, not desktop applications. So we cannot use Selenium to interact with this window here. However, there's a way to work around this problem. Let's go to the code. Here we have a task called test file upload. And the first thing that we need to do after landing on the sandbox page is to click on the file upload button. This will return a handle to the file upload page. Then we're going to say file upload dot upload file. And here we're going to provide the file path for the file that we want to use. I went ahead and created a test file here, this one. The file path for this file is this one here. So I'm going to use this file path along with the file name when I call the method upload file. Let's go ahead and change this backslashes to forward slash so that this test can work in any system. Let me show you what this upload file method is doing. This is in a new page object that I created called file upload page. That's this one right here. I also went ahead and added the locators for the buttons that we're going to be interacting with. Next, we're going to write the logic for uploading the file. And the way file upload works in Selenium is that we need the locator for this button here that says choose file. So let's right click this and inspect this element. We see that the ID is file upload. And this is the element that we're going to be using to upload the file. We're going to say driver dot find element. And then we pass in the locator for that button. And then we say dot send keys. And here we simply need to pass in the file path. And what this line of code is going to allow us to do is to bypass the window that comes up after we click the choose file button. Next, we're going to say click and we're going to click the upload button. This click method is coming from the base page class. We're going to use another method from the base page class. This one is called wait for element text. And here we're going to say upload status, comma, and then the status that we expect. Let's see what happens when we upload a file. So I'm gonna click on choose file, and here I'm going to navigate to where my file is located and select it. Then I'm going to click upload, and this is the confirmation message that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and copy this text, and we're gonna put that here. Now we're ready to run our test. I'm going to put a breakpoint right here so that we can see it in action. We're at the breakpoint. Let's go to the website. And notice that right now no file has been selected or uploaded yet. So we're gonna go back to the code. Now we're going to execute this line of code to select the file. Let's go ahead and click here. And we're gonna go back to the website. And notice that now it is showing a file here. So what we just did is to send the file directly to the website, skipping that window that comes up when we click this button. Next, we're gonna click upload button. Let's go ahead and click here. Go back to the website. And now we have the confirmation message. Now we can finish running our test and the test passed. Want more videos like this? Then please subscribe to the channel. I'm releasing videos every single week. See you in the next one.